Hey guys, this is Sam and today I want to take a look at the new app store inside of iOS 11 because it looks like this now It got a huge redesign and a lot changed So the first tab has been renamed to today It's gonna to tell you the date in the top left a picture of yourself in the top right and then down below or I guess in the middle area It's gonna show you everything that you're sort of used to seeing some featured apps for that particular day It's actually really cool if you scroll down it actually changes depending on the day So today's Friday, but if I go down to June 8th Thursday, you'll see an entirely new selection of other apps to discover. And I really like the ideology behind the new main tab in the App Store. It's gonna be really cool to discover new things every day and it definitely brings some excitement back to the front page. Another big change for the App Store in iOS 11 is that games and apps have been completely separated now, which I think is good because if you're in the mood for a game, you're probably not looking for an app. And if you're in the mood for a regular app for getting something done, you're probably not looking for a game. It's gonna be kind of weird to have them separated at first, but I think it'll be worth it in the end. Here you can view the top paid and top free. Of course, you can scroll down and view top categories uh, and some other curated playlists for games. And the apps page looks very similar as well. You've got Airbnb featured at the top, Lake, Pixelmator, and a lot of other things like the normal featured area has looked in the past. Scroll down for apps that the App Store loves. And if you scroll down just a little bit more, you're gonna notice once again, it's very similar looking, almost identical to the games tab. You have top charts down here, top paid and top free separated, and then more categories and other recommended apps down below that. Now, one change that I'm personally having a hard time adapting to is that updates has been for whatever reason, shifted one tab over. I don't know why search and updates couldn't have remained in their respective areas from iOS 10 and before, but I'm just so used to tapping on the bottom right hand tab to update my apps, and now it's just one tab over. So it's not a big change to get used to, but it is there. That fourth tab is updates. You have updated recently, and if you scroll down on this area, you're gonna see everything that you've been recently updating. Not a lot has changed here at all. You can tap on more to view the extended change log or tapping on open will of course open that respective app. And finally, we have search, which once again looks very similar to how it did in iOS 10. You can search right here at the top by typing in anything, but one change here that I am a fan of is that some apps have auto-playing videos to give you a better look at how they look. So for example, this app right here, when I'm scrolling down just in the main search feed, it's gonna show me a pre-playing video. So I don't even have to tap on that app to get a better idea of what it is, what it looks like, and how it works. And then there's also back on the main part of the search tabs, trending searches to show you what a lot of people using the App Store are currently searching for. Now, out of all the changes that I mentioned so far, there's one last App Store upgrade that I wanna highlight. When you go to download an app, whether it be paid or free, you get a new pop-up that looks really similar to Apple Pay, if you've ever used that with the name of the app, or the rating, and then the account, and down below it says install with Touch ID, so long as you have Touch ID enabled. And when you go ahead and scan your fingerprint, and you get that beautiful sound and animation, which is probably conditioning us to wanna buy apps more because it sounds really rewarding and makes buying apps fun. But at the same time, it's really pretty, so it's probably worth it. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like down below. And of course, and as always, I love hearing your thoughts. Are you a big fan of the App Store in iOS 11, or would you rather see something like we saw back with iOS 9 and iOS 10? Let me know down below in the comment section, and of course, subscribe for more on iOS 11 in the future. I've been Sam, I hope you're doing great, and I'll talk to you later.